Hey folks, welcome to the channel, and I believe I just got my Precept mana poll that I ordered from Games Workshop in the mail today. This is from Games Workshop, and I can't be anything else. I know this is the only thing I ordered from them, so I figured I would do an unboxing of the Precept mana poll um, and kind of show you guys what it looks like. So I know you've probably all seen these Titans before, but I'm pretty excited about these. So let's take a look and see what is in store for me on all the sprues of this thing. So we get some packing material out of the way. Oh, and I ordered some weapon arms as well. Oh, nice. So I got some uh, Warlord Titan weapons. I actually don't have a Warlord yet. So this will be the first one out of this box. Um, and I also got a bunch of Reaver weapons. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Another Warlord um, weapon sprue for all the other Warlords I'm going to end up getting. Um, and then I got a, um, a Reaver uh, weapon arm. I ordered the uh, one that has the... Um, this is the one with the Volcano Cannon and the Chain Fist. I ordered the one with the... Uh, with the missile launch, the APOC missile launcher, the power fist, and some other weapons, but they were out of stock, and as luck would have it, I just placed an order for a couple more of those. They just came back into stock, so more uh, more weapons for Legio Volturum, which is nothing but a good thing. So let's put those over there. Maybe we'll crack those sprues in a minute, but this is the one I've been waiting for. This is the one. So this is the new um, bundle of Titans. And I tell you what, this is an incredible value. So if you have not seen this uh, yet, um, you're in for a treat. This, um, you know, I did the pricing on it. I can't remember exactly what it basically, I think you get a free Titan based on what the normal retail price is on this. Um, but this is an incredible value. So I'm going to crack this bad boy open. It looks like you get some decals um the cards and then the um well, they call those the terminals i believe um and you know normally i don't think i would have bought this titan the uh the warbringer nemesis but you know it being in there you know what the heck i'll have it i, I don't have a warlord yet i've got a fair number of reavers and i got a fair number of um, warhounds so really the reason i bought this was i kind of plan on using this mostly with the exception of the war the uh warlord the Warlord is going to go to my Volturum Force, but I really kind of want to have um, two forces, and one being uh, um, Heretic or Traitor, and the other being Loyalist. So most of these Titans are probably going to end up being part of my, my Loyalist Force, which I haven't picked out yet. So hey, maybe you can help me in the comments. Pick me a Loyalist Legion. So I'm going to crack this open. Let's see what we've got in here. So big, a goodly sized box. Here, I'll just step myself on that corner. All right, let's take a look here. So, well, that's one of these jobs. You got to open it here. Okay. So that. This this box feels pretty packed. Oh man, that is a lot of Titan. Let's see if we can zoom in on this just a tiny bit, so you can maybe see it a little bit better. Um, okay, so these must be... I'm not sure exactly what this is, but they give you some... Oh, okay, probably like a painting guide or something, and then the, the cards as well. Let's, let's open this up real quick. So... Okay, so there's a Reaver. Oh, various assembly guides, it looks like. Oh, all sorts of stuff in there. Those must be the uh, terminals. We'll get to those in a minute. So a Reaver Titan and a Warhound Titan assembly instructions. I'm wondering if there is a Warlord assembly instructions in there as well. But these look like the cards. These look like... Okay, yeah. Here's all of the... Um, the terminals you get looks like some nice terminals in here one for each right cards i guess i haven't played yet so i'm assuming 
you flip them over to the red, well, yeah, clearly weapon disabled. Like if you lose a weapon or something, um, you do that. Um, more cards, it looks like. And going with all the different things. What's... Oh, more cards. Okay, more weapon cards. All right. Okay, what's this? I wonder if this is the Warlord Assembly instructions. Ah, come on. A couple more pieces of paperwork in here. Um, oh, yeah, clearly this is the... Um, yeah, okay, great. You've got two assembly instructions. One for the uh, the Warlord and one for the Nemesis Warbringer. And it looks like... Wow. Oh, so many... So many pieces parts. That's okay, though, because these are awesome models. And it shows you how to build everything. Okay, I, I'm getting it. So, basically... Oh, these are nicer than the... Um, they're bigger pictures. Um, I mean, obviously, it's a bigger book, right? I've only assembled up to a, a reaver size, but basically, it's a much bigger pictures for my old man eyes and maybe a couple of different color schemes and gives you the paint there so that makes a lot of sense um and then for the warlord if you haven't seen this you know kind of some clear instructions on how to put that bad boy together i'm just thumbing through this i don't i've not i've seen a warlord titan in person i don't know exactly how big they are but i think they're kind of they're I think they're almost night, you know, 40k night size, but I'm not 100% sure. I could be completely off on that. But, um, wow. Nice big pictures. That's really cool. Oh, and they give you a lot more color schemes here. I thought about doing Furians, but I think I'm going to stick with Volturum. I don't know. So much, too many decisions. Okay. So, instructions. And then the rest of this box is chock full of sprue so um i don't know what titans these are too this that might be warlord but this these things look big that might be warlord but there's one two three four that's got to be warlord yeah look at the size of those feet four one two three four Oh, five, six. That's, um, that's gotta be Warlord weapon, or, uh, armor plates. That's a, that's a Reaver Sprue. Very familiar with that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's Warhound right there. There's a Warhound right there. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 sprues in total. So you get 12 big sprues. That's got to be the War Lord base. That's got to be the Reaver base. A couple of Warhound bases. Reaver and I guess Reaver and Nemesis must be on the same size base. So that makes sense. And you get some decals here in the bottom. So, wow, that is, um, that is a pretty packed box full of stuff. Um, I'm not going to use these transfers. I wish I'm going to have to make some custom transfers for my stuff, but I don't know that maybe there's a secondary market for these. The, every, every box that I've gotten, has had a lot of transfers. Well, that's it folks. That is really the sprues. I don't know if any, any of these sprues needs a close up, but I'll maybe show some of them. That's definitely a reaver. That's a reaver body and legs, chassis sort of thing. That's another, that's the other Reaver Sprue right there. This must be the Nemesis Warbringer, because it looks like it's got that platform there and kind of the big Quake cannon. I'm assuming that's what that is. I don't know that you want to, I don't, actually, like, let me know in the comments. Do you magnetize the big gun on the top of a Nemesis Titan? Details in the comments. Um, this one's Warhound. Built a couple of those. Those might be for my loyalists. And this Reaver might be for my loyalists. I'm not sure. But yeah, hey folks, that is a lot of plastic crack in one amazing package. That is the Precept Maniple uh, Battle Force. It, you know, it's a really good price point. If you get gets you basically everything you need. You know, I imagine that you could play just about um, any reasonable point size game 
with just this box. Now, of course, you're going to want more, right? You're going to, if you, depending on which maniple you pick, you're not going to have enough Reavers. You're not going to have enough Warhounds, whatnot. But um, I think I would, I would venture a guess that you could actually field uh, a legal force with that. And not need a whole lot else. But of course you're going to want other things to kind of make variation play. So that's it folks. That's the unboxing of the Precept Manable. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.